Hey racers, welcome to my gaming channel. Chicken Plays here, another rank to tier 40 in the Vancouver Tour. Part 2 of the Rank Cup in the Valentine's Tour is officially over, so here was my results from that. I went from tier 37 to tier 38, and I'm 2 tiers away from tier 40 racers. Here are my rewards, as usual. And so far, you're going to be watching different clips of my gameplay and so hopefully these will help you especially if you're trying to reach a higher tier now vancouver part one is going to begin with dsdk pass so my donkey kong is level three my flame flyer is level four and the star shoot is level one the start shoot is going to be helpful for those coin frenzies hopefully i can get them and if i can manage to get a giant banana frenzy that would be really helpful especially for, for using DK so I would suggest using DK here in DK pass now I'm speeding it up as some of you already know I, I make sure to just show you my first gameplay of the rank cup okay so uh, so far I'm just trying to collect coins ramps and I got hurt at this point and I was just really like flustered but because of that my score was 13k and i know i can improve that score so first time doing it as you can see i received five grand stars and i suggest doing it 150 cc so you won't be going and missing out on ramps too fast i took out five snow people probably more than that in the tour challenges one so luckily i unlocked uh tour challenge there and of course uh going from rank 20 all the way to rank 5. Now this was a gameplay video uh, the moment this cup was released. So basically the start of the tour. All right, so in Vancouver Velocity T, I chose Birdo. I didn't have Rosalina um, Aurora yet. And so my Birdo is level two. The and the circuit special is also level two. And of course I decided to go with the cloud glider level three. Now the cloud glider itself is pretty good and hopefully I could nail those the coin frenzies. It doesn't increase the coin chance frenzy but because it has thunder, it most likely won't spawn with lightning in of course first place. So there you go, I got a coin frenzy. It's nice to have towards the end though, but I stuck with the 15K score at the end. So that's not too bad when you begin with uh, rank cup. Yep, so doing this the first time. And now we're going to head into Markart Circuit 2, 2R. Um, some gold challenges, I finished a race with the frenzy, which you just saw, uh, coin frenzy there. And then here are my rewards for a bingo. I unlocked earn a score of 10,000 or higher on a T course. So that was a gold challenge that I completed. All right, so that gives me another three in a row for a bingo and going diagonal. Pretty good. All right, so moving right along again into Mario Circuit 2R. Um, it's gonna help me push and of course my rank went up to first uh here we go i have a metal mario level three a super blooper level three and you'll see later that i decided to increase the level to four because i just needed one more i uh, used the gold ticket and I'll, I'll mention that again so paper glider is level four all right so here we go i'm I usually use an item ticket at the beginning. Um, some of you might be wondering uh, why am I using my item tickets at the beginning. Usually I like to hopefully get maybe a Mega Mushroom or something really good depending on my position at the start of the race and then hit my opponents who that gathers. So, um, oh, uh, so that was a 12K score and I got 41K the first time, all right? Now, several days, several days later, I go back and I wanted to increase my score. It went up to around 45k, which was good. So I'm showing you my best gameplay here. I had a giant banana frenzy, which is really awesome. And that was uh, the first time I was doing this. 
as in the first time trying to get a better score. <laughs> and so, um, anyways, I start, going back to what I was saying earlier, the item ticket is definitely useful. If you have a lot of item tickets, I would suggest only using them for the rank cup. Now, using item tickets at the beginning helps you probably get a coin frenzy if you're positioned in first place, or you can hit your opponents really easily or get a frenzy. So I got a 17k DK pass, beating my previous score, and went from 5th to 4th. Okay, so this was two days left before the Tor Cup is going to end, the Tor Rank Cup. And so I went back in. I decided to do it again. And this time it's not as fast clip. I want you to see with my level 3 Donkey Kong, level 4 Flame Flyer, and level 1 Star Shoot what these uh, pretty much combinations will do, especially the way I um, end up playing in this particular course. So, so yeah, the combination really helped me get even a greater score than the record that you just previously saw. So watch how I was able to do that. I got a Giant Banana Frenzy, luckily. Now, Giant Banana Frenzies are so good. Especially the fact that DK Pass is pretty narrow and I got saved from that lightning which was awesome. And you'll just see that my opponents or the CPUs are just getting hit after hit after hit with, from all my bananas and the giant bananas as well. So it helped uh, increase my score. Especially because of course when opponents get hurt they have a... they give you a, a big score on that. So. Uh, continuing my fantastic combos and trying to drift to keep the the score, but apparently the blue shell ends up hitting me, which was unfortunate. However, it didn't stop me from continuing the course. I know sometimes, and maybe you can relate to, um, when you know that the course isn't going so well, you just start over, right? And so, in this case, just getting hit by the blue shell and knowing that my, my giant banana frenzies really hit the... Uh, CPUs, I will most likely get a good score. And following that, I ended up with a coin frenzy, so I knew right away that I needed to continue and keep this race going. So th those coin frenzies really helped gliding and uh, distance really helped connect those points and combos. And so my score ended up being 20k which is a great score and I hope that nobody else in my rank cup gets that and so 20k really pushed me to greater heights let's just uh, put it that way so yep and there you have it 20,480 points screenshotted that and it brings me all the way up to around 48k to first place now after one day later, this is the day before the rank cup ends, and so I am in third place. So these two competitors right above me have a great score for Vancouver Velocity T and SNES Mario Circuit. Too. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I was going back in, and originally I thought about using a Rosalina Aurora, however... I decided to go with Birdo because I thought about Birdo's Egg Frenzy, which is, I think, a little much uh, more efficient than the Ice Flower because once that egg breaks, it breaks up into other items, so I really thought about that. And so right away, with my best clip after doing this course a couple times, I ended up using my item ticket to get that Mega Mushroom and hit opponents right away. So that's what I'm talking about. Use your item tickets at the beginning of the race. If you have hundreds of them, you might as well start using them for the rank cup. All right, so uh, continu continuing, I actually ended up with a banana frenzy right on top of it. So that, that was awesome. And I just started placing it and just took advantage of the drifts here. By the way, I don't know if you noticed, but and or if not, but some of you who probably didn't realize this, if you have a frenzy and you're drifting, it increases the the rate of getting uh, from mini to super to ultra mini turbo. So what I mean is, you go 
right into almost an ultra mini turbo boost as you drift so it's it's a pretty cool thing to note because ultra mini turbo boosts do give you more points and so continuing the fantastic combo here um the, this was the hardest part because i broke my combo and you just have to be really good at drifting in that area which connects uh into the item boxes so that one always gets me but hey not gonna stop me or not gonna allow me to restart okay so here i go once again another part here is a little difficult to connect with combos you must have a coin at the beginning of the items that you get if not it might break all right so my score at the end of this race was around 16k specifically 16,347 points now it's nowhere near the 17k that i saw my opponents have in the rank cup but this will do if i get passed again for some strange reason i might have to repeat that course over but for now um i'm still behind a couple of points so i'm going into this course once more so the first time i've done it right this is a fast clip uh so because i will show you a better or a higher score now this is what i mean by my, my super blooper this time my super blooper is level four uh the first time i've done it, it was level three so i decided to to increase it to level four because super blooper is two out of three of copies so to use another to use a gold ticket or get another super blooper would be really useful and so i'd rather have a level four super blooper than a level three for the extra bonus so here i go back again repeating the course over this time i do get um a frenzy there all right so continuing on with my fantastic combo notice that i in this case i am doing 200 cc now as a gold pass user i'd i'd suggest that because you it's a little hard to drift so um or rather connect so that got me to 50k because that was a 13,000 point finish and then when i did it again i apologize i couldn't get this on footage but i had to record what i had i got coin frenzies here and i'll show you to get me almost close to 15k so repeating that course over here we go I used my item ticket me at the beginning and then I ended up with the coin frenzy at that point so you notice all the coins uh, that follows right and then that led me to pretty much receive a great score of almost 15k 14.8k and finally I have 51,725 points at the end racers if this video has helped you or you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more Mario Kart Tour content. Racers, good luck on the Tour Cup. I will see you on the racing field.